Commonly known as the King of Ragtime, Scott Joplin was a famous African-American composer and pianist who wrote and performed in the late 1800s into the early part of the 20th century. His most recognizable pieces include The Entertainer and The Maple Leaf Rag, both of which are still played around the world. Scott Joplin, who was known for creating a truly American style of music, actually started from rather humble roots. His father, Gales Joplin, was an ex-slave, and Scott himself was born only two years after the Civil War ended. Even as a young child, Joplin stood out as a musical prodigy. At the age of 11, he was introduced to Julius Weiss, a Jewish music professor who had immigrated from Germany. And for the next five years, Weiss tutored Joplin free of charge and introduced him to folk and classical music. Throughout his life, Scott Joplin prided himself in his ability to read and write complex music compositions. By the 1880s, Joplin made the momentous decision to give up his steady paying job as a railroad laborer to pursue his passion, a music career. But unfortunately, Joplin soon discovered there were few opportunities for African American pianists. In the 1890s, Joplin finally started to grow in popularity after performing at the 1893 World Fair in Chicago. At that time, a new type of music was slowly gaining in popularity, ragtime. This upbeat, fast tempo, syncopated style of music with ragged rhythms, hence the name ragtime, is how Scott Joplin finally made a name for himself. In 1899, Joplin published his most famous piece, The Maple Leaf Rag. Ten years later, in 1909, more than half a million copies had been sold. Throughout his life, Scott Joplin continued to write music, including a number of rags, two operas, two marches, a waltz, a musical, a symphony, and even a piano concert. Sadly, Many of his pieces were never published, and even lost forever. Scott Joplin was also known for seeing himself as a composer of complex pieces on par with the top classical pieces of all time. Joplin passed away in 1917. Although his physical life lasted less than 50 years, his creative musical genius and influence remains live and well, and his influence has forever changed American musical culture.